and don't have your eyes like this and then eat chips in front of your parents' face. Like, it's obvious that you high because why are you busting down on them chips like that? Like, it's never that good. Welcome back to the party on it and in today's video I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to not get caught with weed I'm about to be teaching y'all how to not get caught rolling up how to not get caught you know with the smell if you just smoked you know what I'm saying I got tips for everything so let's get straight into it okay y'all so if you're the type to smoke and you buy weed, you roll your blunts, you know what I'm saying? You literally buy weed all the time. You always smoke and you're literally not trying to get caught with it. This is my tip for actual smokers who roll up every day. You, The first thing that you're going to need is a candle. You're going to need a candle. You're going to need a towel. And you're going to need some air freshener, okay? And this is why. Everybody rolls blunts in their room. I'm pretty sure everybody rolls a blunt in their room. And you're not going to want to smoke in your room. I don't care how much of a fiend you are. You cannot smoke in your room because you're going to get caught. It's just that simple. It's just that easy. But the simple smell of weed is very, very strong. So just by you opening a jar of marijuana, you can smell that through the room. And you really want to avoid that because while you're rolling, the weed is so strong, you can smell it through the door. Because I got this gas, y'all. And it's so strong that my mom can smell it while the door is closed. So here's my tip on not getting caught with having weed on you, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to put your weed in a jar. Because you got to put your weed in a jar. Do not put your weed in a Ziploc bag, in a little glasses case. You want to have it in a jar. That's a good place to store your weed. Because if you place it somewhere else, your weed probably will go bad. So you want to place it in a jar because a jar, keeping your weed in a jar will keep your weed fresh for a long period of time, for at least six months, okay? So you want to put your weed in a jar. And then you want to put that jar in probably a sock. Two socks, actually. Put it in two socks and put that jar that's in the two socks, put that in a bag. And put that bag into a bag. So, for example, you got your weed in a jar and then... You put it into a sock or whatever. You want to put it in a bag like this, okay? You're going to close the bag, okay? Listen, let me tell you. Close the bag. Put this same bag into another bag. And you're going to put that same bag into your closet. Now, the reason why you want to put it in your closet is because... A closet is something that you can close. A closet is something that you can close shut. You do not want that shit just lying around your room because if you smoke that loud, you're going to be able to smell it and it's going to be really, really strong. So make sure you dry your weed up and keep it in a jar. If you're the type that you like to roll in your room, while you are rolling a blunt, like I said, weed is strong. If you're, if you are smoking that loud for real, like if you actually smoke that gas, Bo, you're going to be able to smell it because I kid you not, I was rolling in my room one day and then I went to go smoke and then I came back. Mind you, I put the weed up. I just had the blunt lying around in my glasses case around my room. I didn't put the glasses case in the bag where the weed was. I just had it lying around my room. My mom came to my door and she was like, it smells like reefer in here. So the tip with that, you're going to want to have a towel. Put the towel by your door, okay? Y'all know how like your door has a little airway at the bottom. You want to get a towel and you want to stuff it at the door. You must stuff it at the door because that air is coming in and out of that and the smell is going to seek through that door and it's going to get through, you know, the whole house. You probably want to also close your vents as well. Now while you're rolling, you need a candle. If you ain't got a candle, don't even think about smoking. Don't even think about rolling the blunt in your room. You need to go outside and do that. Find a place outside to do it. Hit up a friend. Be like, hey, I want a hot box, but I need to roll the blunt in your car. Blah, 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 whatever the case may be. So get you a candle. Do not get no cheap ass candle. Because if you get a cheap candle that has no smell, then your room is going to smell like weed and you want to get rid of that scent. So I have a candle. I got this candle for Bath and Body Works. It's called Mary Cookie. I have never used it yet. I also have the lavender and vanilla, but the lavender and vanilla is not too strong so make sure you just get a strong candle if you are a candle lover and you can tell what candle which candle is strong or not pick that one up the candles that are usually strong have a strong smell so if it has a strong smell pick that up. candles are the best thing to have when you're trying to get rid of the smell of weed okay now here is the tip on like not getting caught with being high and going to go smoke first thing you want to do to like not get caught going to go smoke the weed you're going to want to take your blunt put the blunt into like either 
a blunt packet or a Ziploc bag. Don't put the blunt in a jar because we don't got time for that. Put that little blunt in a little Ziploc bag. Put it in your glasses case if you have a glasses case. If you don't, then just skip that step and put the glasses case into a bag or put it into a fanny pack and bring your lighter with you bring some water bring some hand sanitizer and bring some perfume and go outside and go smoke after you have finished smoking you are going to smell a little bit like weed especially if you are in a car but if you're just sitting outside you won't really smell as much like weed as if you were in a car if you're just sitting outside all you're going to want to do is put some hand sanitizer on have some gum you need gum and spray some perfume okay and that's it come in the house and go straight to your room do not lie around and sit around in the house with your parents come straight to your room change your clothes and then go back out there if you want to or whatever the case may be but if you too stoned to be around your parents just lay in the bed now if you are just coming from a hot box session let me tell y'all motherfucking something hot boxing is the best way to smell like weed if you want to smell like weed for real sit in a car and smoke you are sitting in a closed motherfucking area where there is literally no windows are open. You're sitting in a closed area full of smoke. You're going to smell like weed when you come out that car. So if you just got done hotboxing, you're going to want to go to, you want to sit outside for a couple of minutes. You want to air the smell out. Like you want to air the smell out because baby, I'm telling you, I promise you, you're going to smell like weed. That cheap ass Bath and Body Works is not going to work when you smell like weed. Some perfume is not going to cover it up either but bring it anyways so you just want to make sure you stand outside for a couple of minutes or so to like get the smell off you and then just spray perfume get your hand sanitizer and get your gum now one time i had hot box with these boys or whatever i was probably like 16 years old i was with my cousin we hot box with these guys and y'all i was so stupid i brought like this warm vanilla sugar body mist from bath and body works and i sprayed it on me and i came back in the house and my cousin was like y'all smell like gas like y'all smell like weed listen if you're if you can afford high-end perfumes like you can't afford these expensive ass perfumes that cost an arm and leg you want to get some strong bath and body works some strong ass bath and body works some strong as victoria's secret when they have a sale because that's the best time to buy body sprays from them i recommend bare vanilla because that's a strong body mist you're the one yeah just make sure you get some strong body mist do not be getting warm vanilla sugar all of that because that does not last and you're not about to be smelling like warm vanilla sugar okay 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 now this is my tip on how to not get caught while you are high okay look i'm telling you right now you cannot have your eyes looking low if your eyes look low you're caught okay you're caught and if your parents are the type that can tell that you're high your cotbo you're gonna want to get some eye drops see now i don't use eye drops personally because i don't care that much but you want to get yourself some eye drops y'all if you're a female you're gonna want to wear lashes because baby if you don't got no lashes on it's gonna be pretty obvious that you lie but you want to get yourself some eye drops um you're also gonna want to not act high do not be acting high do not get the milk out of the um refrigerator and then put it back in the cabinet once you're done using it don't do no dumb ass shit like that because that's you're making it obvious don't go in the kitchen grab you a bag of chips sit in the living room and just start eating them like this with your eyes low don't do that because you look high get what you need to get out of the house get what you need to get out of the living room come back and go to your room do not sit out there with your parents if you look high if you act high if you say stupid shit when you're high if you just act like a dumb ass person in general do not go out there while your parents are out there. Now me, I done smoked a couple of blunts in my life, okay? So when I go out there with my parents and I'm high, they cannot tell I'm high. My parents know I smoke, but they cannot tell I'm high, literally. Like my dad, he never knows I'm high. Like I be high early in the morning, literally, and he will not know because I literally act normal. You have to act normal. If you if you don't know how to act normal when you high, it's just best as you just come straight in your room or don't smoke at all because baby, if you finna be acting, Oh my god <laughs> you're caught babe you're caught we know we know we can tell you're acting high babe you can't do that okay you can't okay so yeah y'all make sure that y'all just keep the smell off you that is the biggest red flag like that's the biggest thing you want to avoid when smoking because that just gives it away when you smell like weed that gives it away just by you smelling like weed that just gives it away that you've been smoking 
and that you smoked so make sure you have perfume make sure you have candles in your room like all of that kind of stuff but if you're not the type to like smoke every day and you don't smoke every day and you don't buy weed then you really don't need to buy candles and you don't need to do this then the third but if you smoke from time to time and people fire you up and you go out there to go smoke with them smoke with them do whatever you got to do when you come out from the hot box session sit outside for a while do not go back straight in the house but make sure you have hand sanitizer perfume gum put the hand sanitizer on because your hands usually smell like weed after you get done smoking so put the hand sanitizer on do all of that stuff and like i said after you get done smoking come straight to your room because your clothes more than likely gonna smell like weed. You're most of the time like after you got you get done smoking and you spray perfume on you, you smell like perfume and weed. Like I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like that's exactly how you gonna smell. So that's why I say go straight to your room and change your clothes because that's the easiest way to get rid of the smell. If you keep those same clothes on that you smoked with, you're gonna smell like weed. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna smell like it. So basically, y'all, y'all just gotta not have the smell on you. Don't have the smell on you if you if you're in school and you're not trying to get caught with weed at school but my advice is don't smell like weed at school and don't bring weed to school because you can get caught with that you know what i'm saying if if the loud is if the gas is really that loud you can get caught with that like say you have the weed in your backpack but you got to open your backpack to get a pencil out as soon as you open that bag baby we can we can smell the weed okay if it's really that gas we open the bag Baby, you can smell it. As soon as you open a bag of weed, the whole room smells like weed, okay? You ain't even got to light the blunt. All you got to do is open the bag. That's all you got to do. Whole room smells like weed. Don't do it. It's not worth it. And yeah, y'all, that is my advice. Wear perfume. You know what I'm saying? Act normal. Do not act like you're high because now we know you smoke, babe. Okay, you told on yourself. Um, Just make sure that y'all be very discreet you know what i'm saying do not be obvious do not make it look obvious you know what i'm saying don't have your eyes like this and then eat chips in front of your parents face like it's obvious that you hot because why are you busting down on them chips like that like it's never that good and also when you roll you have to seal the blunt back and forth with a little lighter most of the time you don't have to but it seals the blunt and it makes the blunt more you know sealed when it's time to seal the blunt you don't do that in the room you do that outside because as soon as that fire hit that blunt as soon as that fire hit that blunt baby it smell like weed it smell like smoke don't do that like i said if you roll in your room be very very cautious i love y'all so much thank y'all so much for watching this video make sure y'all give me the 2000 subscribers like comment and subscribe period share me to your friends if you needed help i hope i hope y'all i love y'all bye barbianas